hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today we are going to talk about the books which are my favorite and the books which i read in the 2022 i think i read more than 40 books in 2022 since june 5 to up to december 30. Uh, in that book list i'm going to talk about my favorite 10 books totally i read a more than 40 in that books uh, there are a books which made me uh, feel heartbroken there are a books which made me really uh, thoughtful person there are a books which uh, somehow added little bit of the moral and ethical values in my life there are a books which added the knowledge of the other countries about the culture about their history and uh, about uh, their contemporary position why they are like this and about their diplomatical relationship all those things which i learned from them and at the same time reading all those books i realized that somehow i become uh, emotionally more intelligent than before and uh, uh, somehow they added the little bit of uh, more values in my life so today i am going to talk about all those books uh, which um, uh, somehow added uh, their impact in my life and i still remain and uh, i can say that i can carry those things up to my death and there are lessons every book has and every book has their own essence every book has their own own knowledge every book has their something in it even though you can say that this book is not useful many many people say that but i think that every book has their hidden language every book has their uh, hidden message uh, sometimes we are not able to identify that that. so i'm going to talk about all those books uh, my most favorite to least favorite books which i read in 2022 but today i'm only going to talk about the 10 books which i feel like everyone should read if you are going to start your reading journey so the first book my favorite book which i read in 2022 that is pachinko okay if you are someone you don't know anything about pachinko uh, pachinko is a story which is based on the korea and this story is based at the time of i think korean war or no uh, i think a second a second world war at the same time here uh, the war is going between the japan and um, uh, japan and the china and at the cent at that time koreans are under the influence of the uh, japanese and it really talks about the how the situations of the korean people under the influence of the uh, japanese people and how they are ill-treated and how they faced the uh, poverty and how they are trying to come out from that poverty and uh, literally it is a uh, one of the i think one of the uh, black uh, spot in the korean history or the black spot in the japanese history because uh, how we faced the britishers exactly same situation happens for the koreans and that is the reason why now koreans are trying to uh, both koreans and japanese are trying to save their culture save their traditions because in past they faced a lot of the things especially when you read this book it is a mainly the story of the girl which is her name is sunja and her life is completely going parallel with the war and how war is affecting their life and how it is affecting their social life how it is affecting their economically and financially and how they effect how that affecting their life emotionally everything is there in this book so if you are someone you want to read something new you want to feel something new experience at the same time you want to gain a knowledge and with the interesting story then you can go for the this book that is pachinko and at the same time i made a review on this book uh, if you want to watch that video you can go for that so and this is the first book which is my most favorite i'm going to recommend anybody in my life anybody so now the second book is 
uh, <laughs> I made a list of the books. Uh, just see here. I made a list of the books because I don't want to forget them. And the second book. Second book is also this is the Japanese book that is Before the Coffee Gets Cold. And in my channel, there is a review on this book also. But uh, <laughs> I recommend people to don't watch that video because obviously that video i think that is third uh, that video is uh, my third or uh, third or fourth video so i'm not uh, that much comfortable with the camera that much comfortable with uh, the um, uh, talking with the camera in front of the camera so i don't recommend that video but uh, talking about the book this book is very um, emotional this book is very emotional and this story is quite interesting because here is the in this book uh, there is a coffee shop and that coffee shop has the capacity to take you in your past okay uh, it is like a traveling machine and that traveling machine when you get that copy you have to sit on the particular table where you get that uh, uh, coffee and the main conditions that you are going to go in the past and uh, you are going to experience that all those fast things and but at the same time the coffee in front of you you have to drink that coffee before getting cold that is the main important condition for that if you didn't finish that coffee uh, you are going to be a ghost uh, sitting on that chair and this book is unbelievably so so good book after that book the author released another two books i think they are sequence of the before coffee gets cold book but they are so expensive that i can't afford that time because i am unemployed at that time even though my brother gives me so much so many books but um, i am somehow hesitant to ask him but I'm going to buy them maybe in next month, maybe I don't know when, but I am not. I am definitely going to read those books. And this book is one of the amazing. Uh, this book is very emotional. This book is very entertaining. And every th every time uh, you start to uh, read, you feel those uh, vibes. That is uh, good vibes because it somehow has that humor. It some has that emotional attachment it is so soothing and uh, there are the four stories in the first um, sequel of this book that uh, four stories are one story is about the sisters one story is about the husband and wife uh, um, whose husband has uh, Alzheimer's disease and who lost his memories and the third one is um, I think uh, something is there totally four stories are there and all four stories are very emotional at the same time they have a message for that you have to read that book so this is the, my second favorite book in this list now the third book is lonely harvest okay lonely harvest is the book which on which i made my first video on the book review still it is there in a link you can watch that video and it is a little bit embarrassing because in first video i don't know how to face the camera i don't know anything at all but still i recommend that video video because i uh, because i talk about that book in that video in a very uh, speculative way and uh, you have to go for that okay lonely harvest is a book which is written by the indian author that is parallel morgan who is one of my favorite author he is from the tamil nadu and he studied in a tamil literature and this book is talking about the woman uh, who is pregnant and who is widow she lost her husband because her husband hanged himself uh, under the tree which is in front of her house and there is a lot there are a lot of the emotions uh, every time she look in front of her house there is a um, that tree on that tree he hang himself and every time whenever she looks at that tree she remembers him and uh, she start to remember uh, how he treated her how well he treated her and uh, this is the second sequel of the book the first book is that that i think um, 
one part woman i think one part woman i don't know i don't remember the first part of this book even though you don't read the first part of the, this that book uh, you can still go for this book that is lonely harvest because there is a uh, things uh, uh, author clearly explained about the um, uh, about uh, the first thing which happens in the first book so you are not going to get a uh, confused about that but uh, you have to go for that and at the same time uh, the author never failed to uh, create that village scene of the india and how people are talking about each other and this is the best thing of india <laughs> everyone want to gossip about each other and how uh, that message spread uh, like a wildfire and um, it is uh, so beautiful when you read a book which has um, the essence of the contemporary and which, ha which has a um, message about the society and this book really talks about the social discrimination and our old traditions how they are affecting life of the poor people or the life of the uh, people who are not um, uh, high in their status when it comes to the financially so this book is um, nice according to me and i like this book very much and the next book is that i think uh, okay the next book is seven husbands of evelyn hogo believe me when I see that title like everyone uh, I got a curious about what is this book about but literally when I read this book I can't stop myself from crying if you are someone you are saying that I can't cry because I I'm not that much emotional this book is going to make you emotional because um, this is so emotional every time Evelyn Hugo uh, okay evelyn hugo is a, such a genius she is smart she is beautiful uh, she is intelligent she knows how to use a people the thing about evelyn hugo character it is one of the strong character and evelyn hugo in this story is uh, she is a um, uh, actress in the 1960s and she came from the very poor background and her father is very abusive and she lost her mother when she is a child and how she become a one of the great actress in a Hollywood and how she achieved that and to achieve that what she have to sacrifice and how she sacrifice and how she learn the things and how she become a smart and at the same time how she become a cruel but in that all those things people say that she is a cruel people say that um, uh, she is a shameless person there are a lot of the things about which about her people says in that uh, book but the, at the end somehow we feel like that she did everything she did everything to achieve that dream she did everything to get the life she wanted and at the same time she is broken because to get something you have to lose something okay to gain something you have to uh, face a pain so that's how that uh, she faced a very much pain and when you are reading you are going to feel her pain uh, it is going to be a very painful and literally I cried and I can't stop myself uh, from um, uh, being uh, traumatized about that character and you can go for it if you want to cry I'm not saying for a cry but you can go, go for book uh, go for that book because it is such a lovely character and if you are a woman then you should definitely go for it okay now the uh, I think I talked about the four books and now the fifth favorite is Song of Achilles. Oh my god. Song of Achilles is it is the first book I read to know about the Greek mythology okay i somehow wanted to read a books about the greek mythology when i researched on the googles this book is very famous so i pick up this book and i never regretted for choosing this book because this is the story of the achilles and his lover that is patroclus and this whole story is with the 
perspective of the patroclus who fall in love with the achilles and this is about the story of the same sex both are the males and it is the situation when there are um, uh, the society is not open still not open okay when it comes to india still not open but um, other countries like us and other countries there is a um, sex marriage is legal uh, but it this story is about the greek mythology a thousand years ago two thousand years ago this story is about that and literally uh, the pain they uh, the both feel and uh, it talks about the that trojan war i can't explain okay about this book i made a review on this book for the uh, two times but i'm not able to uh, upload because i don't feel the satisfaction of explaining that books that book because it is so so good yeah it is so good and the emotions the way madeline miller the author of this book explained their emotions uh actually so when it comes to actually so he is not express uh, the person who can express everything he is the person who has the qualities of uh, keeping the things with that expressionless face uh, but at the end when patroclus died his all emotions burst out and he became a mad at this situation you have to read that book and uh, literally you feel that goosebumps and literally you feel that how can that true love make you um, something mad how can true love make some normal prince into the mad person and the most dramatic and the most emotional breakdown part is that at the end of the day both of them died in this story and because it is a mythological story you can't change the story so the way the madeline miller write this story that is very convenient that is uh, very catching and uh, literally it uh, attacks your every cells of your body it is so amazing and uh, if you want to read something which is related to the greek mythology so you can go for that now the next book uh, the next favorite book of mine is 12 years of slavery i don't remain exact name 12 years of slavery or 12 years of slavery or this book is the story of the solomon northup who is a free man okay during the american civil war during that time uh, the africans are treated as a slaves that is black people are treated as a slaves and white people are the free people okay at that time there is a person that is not of solomon solomon not of he is a absolutely free man but he somehow ended up in uh, slavery and believe me when you uh, read that book uh, this this story is a autobiography of the solomon northup and it is a non fictional book it is a real story if you are someone who want to go for a non fictional book and you want to real story which is related to the american civil war how black people are treated as a slaves then you can go for it because in this story how that solomon northup even in that dangerous situation even in that situation where everyone feel that we can't escape from such a situation because we are stuck here but at the same time he don't lose his hope i think he uh, kidnapped at the time of the uh, when he has a age i think he kidnapped from the white people when he is at the age of the 32 and he never lost his hope and after 12 years he is able to go from there because of his hope towards the life he believes in future he believe, he believe that he is going to escape from this situation he going to escape and going to meet his family in the future and he never ever lose that hope and every time even in that dangerous situation he tried to escape from that situation and um, there is a character called the Patsy that is woman and literally that woman character it is a very strong character and 
the farm owner who uh, who keep these all people in uh, as a slaves that farm owner is uh, very cruel person and even his wife is also cruel person and every night uh, that farm owner um rape that pets a petsy girl but still the heart character represented the strength of the woman and i really love that character and story story is so so amazing and you can't stop yourself from crying and at the same time at the end of the day when he become a free it feels like you are uh, becoming a free from uh, prison you are coming out of something uh, which are which you are holding from uh, since so many years and literally this book is uh, heart catching book okay now the next book my favorite book is that uh god of small things okay god of small things is the story uh, which is written by the arundhati rao and i also made a, a reading blog two parts of the reading blog on this book and god of small things uh, is the story of um uh twins twin one is a boy and the one is a girl and uh, here in this story the way arundhati rai explain about the nature of the kerala explain about the assam and explain about the how the society in the kerala is developing at that time i think it is about the 1919 uh, 19 to to the um 1919 something like that at that time where marxism is evolving in in kerala region and at the same time the people who are nri in the kerala and uh, everything other society how there is a difference between the uh, rich people and the poor people and that poor people are treated by rich people everything is so good at the same time the story how their mother life affecting the two twins and how their uh, how they that two twins are separated from each other one goes with the father and the remains with the uh, mother and how their character development takes place everything is amazing this book is literally so good but if you are a someone uh, who didn't read uh, nothing much or who didn't read uh, anything in life and i'm not going to recommend that book because it has a lot of the things which make you feel uncomfortable which make you feel disturbed so i don't recommend this book for everyone but other than if you want to explore the more culture of the kerala more culture of india or you want to know uh, you want to feel something new uh, and especially when it comes to the emotions of the women emotions of that two kids and there is a line literally i loved that line i loved and i can carry that line throughout my life that is uh, when that uh, twin girl uh, something say bad or uh, something she did something wrong or she said something wrong at that time her mother said that if you behave or if you said something bad about other people's then people start to love you less so always keep in the mind that before talking or before doing something because when you do a bad things or when you scold someone you are going to feel the less love from them or maybe their love become less for you and this line is amazing and i remain this line and this line i can't i can't uh remove this line from mind and i am going to carry this line until my death okay next line is that uh, next book is that uh, the sailor who fell from grace with the sea okay according to many people according to many people this book is one of the most disturbing book and believe me it is disturbing book 
i can feel that and everyone whoever read this book they are going to feel that but at the same time i feel like this book is talking about the reality that is death the ultimate end of the life is going to be a death so this book is talking about that and the author of this book is that is yoshikama he is multitasking person he is athletic athletic person a sportsman and uh, he is actor he is novelist and he is uh, i think he is administrator or something like that he is also present in the a japanese army maybe something like that that person is amazing and his every story has something new in them uh, i agree with the fact that every story of him make you uncomfortable make you disturbed and make you feel traumatized but at the end of the day you can't stop yourself from thinking about that literally after a year okay i read this book i think in the month of the july and i am still thinking about that book if you ask me any book you read and which you still remember that book is going to be a this book and at the same time this book is very disturbing because it is going to be talk about the uh death and uh, there is a, in this story there is a child i think his name is noru and his widow uh, his mother uh, who is widow and the other person who is a sailor and this uh, story is um, i don't know what to say about this story literally it is disturbing at the same time i love this book and uh, the next book is that sarsi okay i already talk about the book that is song of achilles which is written by the madeline miller and this book is also written by her that is madeline miller and this book is amazing because uh this is also a mythology book and here it is i think where it is okay Uh, here it is that is sarsi book and the, in this book sarsi is a girl she is a daughter of the sun sun i think uh, she is a god daughter of the god sun his name is helios okay the uh, god sun uh, in a greek mythology his name is helios and his uh, daughter is sarsi and sarsi is someone um, who has born with the power so that is which power and she always keep that power hiding from the people because no if she knows uh, people know about that uh she is going to um, suffer something at the end of the day something happens she ha she fall in love with that some person but that person fall in love with other person and she got angry and after getting angry she turned um the uh, the lover of the person she fall in love with other girl into a monster sea monster and this and uh, that time uh, when people get to know about the thing which she did they expel her from that land and her father leave her in an island which is far away from her palace and uh, i don't like a mother in this character because she is very selfish she only think about herself and she only think about her throne and her privileges and nothing more than that and that is how uh uh everyone in the every child of this uh, helios uh, become the uh, become lonely and everyone become selfish and this sarsi when she went to that land island where she start to using uh, her power and where she start to practicing her power uh, to get a more power at that time when she is a uh, lonely she is um, uh, she tamed every animal lion the tigers the pigs the wolves uh, she make a friendship uh, she make uh, every animal uh, like her uh, slaves or uh, like her servants and that is where um, other persons came and uh, at the same time she fall in love with the person and um, somehow that person make her feel that love again falling in love with that person but 
at the end it is going to again break uh, again she feel uh, broken because that person is also married she know that she know that but she can't stop herself from falling in love with that person and loving that person and uh, this book is amazing if you uh, want to read about the greek mythology you can go for this and this one is the ninth book and last book is that which i recently read recently very recently like last week of the december and um, that is midnight library okay midnight library uh, this book is like uh, um, i don't know where to put this book okay uh, it is like uh, it has the message message for your life okay he, in this book uh, this woman uh, her name i forget her name how can i forget her name? let me see her name lily i think uh, nine no her name is nora ah uh, nora nora okay her name is nora and in this character nora is a very depressed person uh, at the i think at the first chapter or second chapter she attempted a suicide and when she feel like feel that she is died but uh, when he she opens her eyes she is in a one one big library and in that library there is a person librarian she is also the person whom nora met when she is a child she is present at her school library school library where um in that school library that person is a librarian exactly same person present in this library but the thing is that this whole library is a uh, magical and that person says her to choose uh, any life this uh, uh, library whole library has the possibility your possibilities of your life if your life is not like this and maybe the thousand books are there that means thousand possibilities of your life are there you can choose any book and you can go f- uh, for that book you can live that life so she start to choose a uh, one book and again and that book and and that book and and let me tell you she is not satisfied with the any life at the end of the day i want to tell you there is a nothing called that there is a perfect life okay every life has the its own flaws every life in every life we have to suffer in every life uh, we have to feel like we we are nothing in every life you feel uh, we have to feel that happiness every life has their its own happiness its own suffer its own sorrows its own miserable moments but at the end of the day it is all about you how you are going to take that life that is the message of this book so whatever your life wherever you are whatever you are choosing whatever you are doing that is your life that is your story and you are going to write that story either it is you are going to end that story with the happiness or you are going to end that story with the uh, sorrowness it is it's all depends on you so i recommend this book for everybody everybody because this book is not as heavy as the book i told you before this is this book is one of the light book in whole list of my favorite book list um if you are someone you are reading for the first time then you can definitely go for it so these all are the books in my list totally as i told you i read a more than 40 books in this list these 10 are my favorite the first book is that Pachinko second before the coffee gets cold and third one is lonely harvest and fourth one is seven husbands of evelyn hugo fifth one is song of achilles and sixth one is 12 years slavery and seventh one is god of small things and eighth one is the sailor who fell from grace with the sea this is longest uh, title and ninth one is sarsi and tenth one is midnight library okay these 10 books are my favorite above all this i have one of my favorite book i think this book is one of the amazing book which can't sit on any list of this book that is look after your mom this book is very amazing and i literally love this book because uh, when you don't have the experience of the mother when you don't have no how mother treat you when you don't know 
uh, how it feels like uh, having your own mother i don't know i exactly don't know how mothers treats i saw okay i saw many people have their mothers and i saw but i literally don't know uh, how mother treat uh, us as a child and i don't know the emotions um, uh, okay i don't want to talk about uh, when you don't have a mother and when you read a stories about the mother it literally feels like amazing and this is i didn't include this book in a list uh, because i feel like this book is one of the amazing book and i don't want to keep that book in any position because i love this book with my whole heart and when it comes to mother i'm not going to judge any books because i love all them without any rank without any position without anything so these all are the books uh, which are my favorite which i read in a 2022 so if you like any of this book or maybe if you want to recommend any book for me which are best to read and which we have to read so please recommend me by commenting so this is it this is all my books so See you in the next video until then take care and bye bye